Right now I have a clip that was shot in D-Log, which is a log format shot on the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. And right now there's no LUTs applied, but I have two Lumetri colors here because I'm applying the first one is a corrective LUT, and then the second one is a grading LUT for it to add a little extra color. So with it selected, I will turn the corrective LUT on, and then I will choose the grading LUT. So now the clip looks much better. It looks like it has some color to it and it looks a lot nicer than the original shot footage. Okay, so all is good. We have the LUTs applied and I'm gonna set an in and out and then I will export this. So instead of hitting export in Premiere, we'll go to Q and then it will load up here inside Media Encoder. If it doesn't export with a LUT, then how you fix that is you go into Media Encoder inside Edit, Preferences, and you have to make sure that the Premiere Pro import sequences natively is not checked. By default, it is checked, and I don't know why that is. However, this can cause issues with a LUT not being applied. So make sure that is unchecked, hit OK. I would suggest closing Premiere and Media Encoder opening up again before you try to export, just in case to make sure everything has been reset and then that should solve your problem. If it does not, you can either go to the basic or creative tab and browse for your LUT directly, or you can go into your program files, Adobe, Premiere Pro, Lumetri, LUTs, and then drag your LUTs into any of these folders. So that'll be good for Premiere Pro, but then you'll need to do it again for Media Encoder as well. So you can go up to Media Encoder, Lumetri, LUTs and do the same thing in here. That way, when you send something to Media Encoder, it will also have the same LUTs that it can draw from within the Media Encoder uh, Lumetri LUTs folder. So like I said though, inside Media Encoder, going to Preferences, this should be unchecked and that should solve your problem. If it doesn't, then you can either bring in LUTs this way or straight into the uh, folder right in the program files. So that was just a quick tip on how to get LUTs to export using Media Encoder. Again, I don't really know why Adobe has it set up this way to be the default, but in any case, I hope it helps. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos in the future. We'll see you next time.